I stay in, in Turkey less than one month. And mostly half of them I was in jail. And I'm a family man, my wife and two children. Yes, I arrived in Greece in the ending of the last year, 2022. At that time, my wife was pregnant and I was a yeah, small baby. The travel of Turkey is a terrible travel. It was, uh, sometimes I don't like to remember, but it is a yeah, very difficult trip. You are escaping from the police because if the police catch you normally when you are in the sea if the police catch you they will push back you to the turkey when you arrive in the camp and the police took you to the camp they make first restriction what they call it now your name only and your country and your age uh, when you go to that asylum they make you interview he asking me a lot of questions uh, about Turkey. Why you left Turkey? I said, why? I'm not Turkish. Why are you asking me I'm not Turkish? I stay in, in Turkey less than one month. And mostly half of them I was in jail. Also, I presented to that uh, lawyer, that person who took me the interview. He asked me also, before he asked me, do you have a document or evidence that you are arrested? Yes, that paper, uh, it's a deportation letter. The Turkish government or Turkish deportment, uh, deport, deportation center give us to leave the country 15 days. Then when that interview was so difficult, so many questions maybe, and it was maybe five hours. So after maybe one week, one month, they send us uh, a ticket. They tell us you get rejected. Because we see that you are in safe in Turkey. So after when they get the rejection, I asked that lawyer. She told me the I cannot find your deportation paper to the file inside the file. Maybe the problem is they didn't see that file. We are making the appeal. When three days remaining, the bad day of my daughter, my young daughter they give us reject second reject so they make us in a bill to the court and then after months we get an appointment for interview of the newborn baby that interview takes three hours maybe they ask it only about Somali but on the behalf of the of the of the of the newborn baby so we us we are now um, waiting for that decision but hopefully we are hoping uh, to be succeed for this time yeah because we have now a, a good lawyer and good team so that's why and we can fight <laughs> together to get our rights because refugee is not a choice but the matter or the situation that you live in your country makes you refugee and run away no one like to run his family and his friends away and to go another country okay to be a refugee is not choice